I'm Ariane Batterberry. And I'm Michael Batterberry. Ariane and I have made a career traveling around the country and the world, writing books about the arts, particularly the arts of good living. Michael and Ariane Batterberry have been immeasurably influential on the culinary world. Michael and Ariane are as influential as James Beard ever was, and even Julia Child. He's known as the, the father of American cuisine today, American cooking, as we like prefer to call it. Well, we can, can we quote Julia? Let's quote Julia Child. <laughs> who said, in the beginning, there was Beard. <laughs> the person who we must single out as our great mentor and who invited us into the food establishment, which at that time was a tiny little world compared to the universe that it's become, was James Beard. Michael and Ariane, their legacy will be as the Renaissance couple. If you knew their early lives, it had a lot to do with art. And if you look at the body of work they've done, their 18 books, really one of the greatest books on the history of eating in New York. Ariane and Michael Batterbury, they're historians, and they themselves created history in the food world. When we founded Food & Wine, Michael and I realized that suddenly there was a great interest on the part of men in food, and that it was definitely time for a publication for the new interest in food, which was for both men and women. Food & Wine magazine was on the cusp of the American food revolution. Food & Wine actually helped the public at large take the food world as a serious form of cultural expression. What I loved about food arts is the Batterberries are always the people that are one step ahead of every trend. There were still people out there who didn't understand that this whole industry existed. Prior to food arts, chefs were blue collar workers. It was a revolution that was happening in France and Europe. And here, uh, people started to look at chefs in new light. And this magazine put them in gorgeous color and really told the true professional story. We've also been extremely lucky and we're grateful for it because we were welcomed into the community as it grew. This is like an extended family operation, writing about people we know and admire, and there's always something new going on. Who knows what the future is going to hold? Michael and Ariam will leave a food world that is better for them having been it, and if they weren't, it would be completely different than it is now. We could not have done any of this without each other. It's absolutely true, absolutely true.